I'm here at one of my sites where I have some traps up. And uh, this, this is a bee tree that uh, I found while walking around here. Uh, you can see it's about three or so feet off of the ground. And I knew about this one last year. And that's one of the reasons I selected this site as a potential place to put traps. Now one thing you gotta remember if you're gonna be doing doing uh, trapping of bees is that uh, if you find these bee trees you need to check them in the early spring and see if they survived through the winter. Uh, if they did then you know not to put a swarm trap really close to where they're at. Uh, get anywhere maybe a half a mile away you'll greatly increase your chances at least a half mile maybe go a mile and that will greatly increase your chance of catching one if if these die out over the winter time what you need to do is somehow occlude that hole because the same thing that attracts bees to your traps which is that old comb uh, that will bring these wild bees back in into a tree. This particular uh, tree accepted a swarm that initially hit one of my swarm traps and I know that it was a a very nice swarm uh, because the person who lets me put a trap on their place here they gave me uh, some pictures that showed The picture showed the bee, uh, the trap, covered, um, totally engulfed in bees. And uh, then two or three days later, they left. They came into this tree. They're bringing in pollen. It's September 1st today. And they're bringing in pollen. The goldenrod in this particular geographic area has just begun to bloom. I don't know why the ironweed has been blooming for a good while, um, but the problem is it's been really, really dry. I don't think they're getting that much nectar from them. But one key to getting these traps out and get your bees for free is you need to be on the lookout for these bee trees because knowing where their, where their location is will greatly help you in, in maximizing the effectiveness of your traps. So, I'm going to sign off here and uh, hopefully use this uh, as another uh, little idea to have in your uh, group of ideas for getting ready next spring and get a bunch of these traps out and get a bunch of free bees.